Uh, baseball usually starts in the spring. You also know what? Graduation rates, rates are going, going up. up. Graduation rates are going up. Graduation rates are going up. Our graduation, rates, graduation rates, rates have gone, gone up. up. Graduation rates are going up. Going up. High school year just went by too fast. Graduation we're ready for, and I feel like that's the excitement that we're getting right now. So to see all of us walk across the stage, I feel like it's going to be a heartfelt moment. I'm ready for graduation. Greetings, JPS family and friends. Great news, great news, great news. I am pleased to share some outstanding news that I'm sure you'd be proud of. First, our district's graduation rates are once again on the rise. We are proud to announce that our graduation rate for the 2021-2022 school year is 84.6% an increase of 7.4% from last year and 20.6% over the previous five years. What is also commendable is that the district's dropout rate is drastically declining. Our dropout rate decreased by 27.4% last year, yielding a dropout rate of 12.7%. This is a decrease of 21.3% over the previous seven years. We are so proud of our scholars, teachers, counselors, graduation coaches, and administrators for their commitment to ensuring that our scholars finish strong by completing their high school journey by earning a high school diploma. This provides a strong start for our scholars in meeting their post-secondary goals and aspirations. Next. We are proud to announce that we have 22 remarkable scholars graduating in our first inaugural class from the JPS Tougaloo Early College High School. May 1st, 2022, 20 of these outstanding scholars earned an Associates of Arts degree from Tougaloo College while still enrolled in high school. Additionally, the other two scholars earned over two years of transferable college credits. We are very proud of these young men and women because they completed both high school and two years of college all within four years. Even more impressive is that these scholars graduated with an AA degree with academic distinction, ranging from honors to magna cum laude. These trailblazers earned over $8 million in scholarships. Way to go, JTEX. And lastly, we are excited to host our high school commencement exercises on May 31st and June 1st, 2022. This year is also very unique for these graduates. This year is the inaugural class under the state's new graduation requirements and diploma endorsement options. Our scholars have the chance to graduate with a traditional diploma or a traditional diploma with one of three endorsements added. These endorsements include career and technical, academic, and distinguished academic, which are earned by taking additional classes and requirements. Each diploma option will prepare students to succeed after graduation whether in the workforce, a career and technical training program, or college. Also, students who earn an academic or distinguished academic diploma endorsement from a public high school will be accepted into any of the state's public universities. Thank you for allowing me to share this exciting news. And please remember, at Jackson Public Schools, we prepare scholars to achieve globally to contribute locally and to be fulfilled individually. And now, let's hear from a few of our upcoming graduates. Our grad rates are going up. Going up. Going up. Hello, my name is Jerry Brister. I am Mr. Calloway. I'm Alora McGee, a senior here at Provine High School. My name is Tobias Dawkins Brickhouse, and I'm a senior at Lanier High School. Hello, my name is Perla Guevara, and I am a senior at Forest Hill High School. My name is Raven Kendrick, and I am a senior at Murrah High School. Hello, my name is Sierra Sheriff, Miss Calloway, 2021-22 school year. My name is Jared Peterson, and I'm a senior here at Murrah High School. I'm Wilson Gordon, I'm a senior here at Lanier High School. I'm Scott Davis Martin, and I'm a senior at Provine High School. Hi, my name is Kylie Taylor. 
and I am a senior here at Forest Hill High School. Class of 22, we worked hard to get to where we are. I am grateful to say that I'm finally going to be able to be that person to be able to graduate with my class. Graduation is coming up and it's going to be a very bittersweet moment. I'm glad to know that the hard work has paid off. And to see my growth not only as a scholar but also as a person and a young adult. I'm just working hard in my all four years here at Murray High School and just becoming the person that I am today. Freshman year from senior year has been tough, especially during the pandemic, so to make it this far comes a huge milestone. I'm very proud for me and my peers. We all encourage one another to just keep going, keep pushing. And I'm also happy that we'll be able to have a safe and normal graduation this year. I will miss my high school family and the buns that I've created here. When I got here, I didn't know where any class was. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know any teachers but I've met lifelong friends here. I'm extremely excited to see my peers express themselves and move on to higher education or wherever they choose to do in life. It's cool to be graduated with people that I've been knowing for years and getting to see that they've grown a lot and that I've grown a lot as well. My junior year, we, we went totally virtual. During the pandemic, it was, it was a real start, but I was able to adapt quickly with the help of my teachers, my counselors, and the school staff. Four years of high school, it should prepare you to figure out which career path you would like to follow. Even though I didn't have to come to school, I still had to be at school. I have teachers and staff members push us through. Ms. McDowell, she helped me more on accomplishing like what was really the meaning behind each word. It showed me how people truly felt about me and how they wanted the best for me as well as I want the best for myself. I knew it was tough for some people, but thanks to our teachers and principal, we made it through. My teachers were there every step of the way. They were connecting with us through emails, through Zoom calls. Honestly, the sports staff at Wingfield is we're a family. I feel like we couldn't have made it without each other. I feel like we all leaned on each other a little bit. The counselors that I've had, they've helped me a lot through our high school because they've stayed up on me about my grades. My teachers and most definitely my principal and JRCT have supported me a lot in helping me keep hope in that, you know, I am on the right track. Shout out to Dr. Bradley. She did a lot for us to make sure we're going to college tours. One of my teachers, Ms. Kimes, Mr. A. Jones, and Mr. D. Jones. I'm very thankful for my teachers, counselors, administrators. With discipline, how to care myself. Made sure we did what we had to do. I just would like to thank them for never giving up on us. They really helped us, you know, push forward into doing what we needed to do to succeed and go to the next grade level. I plan to go to basic training as soon as I graduate, come back, go to an institution of my choosing, which I would not be seeing. I want to attend Holmes Community College in Good Mississippi for electrical alignment program. To enlist into the U.S. Army and serve as a combat medic. I will be majoring up in healthcare administration and I will be attending JSU, which is Jackson State University. My plan is to go to the National Guard or the military and focus on that and get money to help pay for college. Mississippi State University, majoring in architecture. I plan to go to USM and be a health science major. I plan to attend Jackson State University. Alcorn State University um, with a band scholarship. I plan on attending the University of Mississippi and majoring in psychology to become an occupational therapist. I plan to attend Hines Community College and major in business administration. Mississippi State University and major in biology pre-med. I'll also be going there to take on my degree in engineering. We have seniors and juniors that have experienced the high school level, but you have freshmen and sophomores that haven't. I would like to tell the incoming freshmen to form relationships with your teachers. Stay on track, stay focused, stay disciplined, and listen to your teachers. So have that mindset of getting out of school to graduate so you can pursue within your future. Manage your time. Don't be a procrastinator. Don't play in class. For my incoming freshmen, I'd like to tell y'all to stay on y'all grades. Your track to graduation starts in ninth grade. If you want to get on stage on graduation, start managing your time now. Oh, I got this much time. I got till forever. I can do whatever I need to do. Take high school serious because it starts ninth grade. Make sure you get your work done. Make sure you have everything. Make sure you stay prepared for graduation before your senior year. Organization, sports, just get involved with a lot of things here at school because it will help you by your senior year. Start on everything early. Don't wait till the last minute. 
and be on top of your game. When you come into f your freshman year, you have to be ready to put in the work, to care about your GPA, to care about your class rank, to care about all of that if you want to have the senior advantages that a lot of seniors have now. If you want to be valedictory, salutatory, top 10, top 20, that starts ninth grade. Do not rush your experience in high school. Try to do your best because you are building the foundation for your senior year. You have to make sure your GPA is high. You have to make sure your ACT scores are high. You have to make sure that everything is in the right track. Don't worry about what your friends are in. Don't worry about trying to go to their class, trying to skip your class. Come to school, be on time, and do everything you can to be a productive student. Like having your ACT, keeping your scores up making sure your grades are good. Be an athlete, go to college, or even in particular, trying to get scholarships. All of that stuff matter at the end of the day. Band, baseball, anything like that that you have here at Forest Hill, because you never know who you might meet. Them might be some of the best friends that you could have out of the organization, and they can help you stay on track with your grades and stuff. So you have to come in with the mindset to succeed and actually put in the work. Different classes, different challenges, and this is the final destination and a sign of passage saying that you made it. Josh, you see student council, Miss Wallace, she's right here, give me a little shout out to her. We all made sure that we all came out on top together. We left no one behind. Able to come together and complete this and raise our graduation rates is really an accomplishment. We are proud of the fact that we're in this class of graduating seniors with the rising graduation rates within the JPS and the seniors. Find that way to walk across the stage and be something with your life. This is the point of the whole video we're doing on today. Graduation rates have gone up in the JPS district and we'd like to thank all teachers, counselors, and everyone that helped us get there. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Graduation rates are going up. up.